welcome back to Shay's Way. <laughs> Rocket is like currently using me as a scratching post. Anyway, today it has rained. Or well, it didn't rain today, but it rained yesterday. So we are rained out. So we're gonna just um, hang out with Rocket, go take him for a little walk. And um, that's pretty much it. Aww. Rocket's mad at Percy. He's like, get out of here. <gasps> oh, Rocket. How do you feel about that, Percy? Rocket has currently found some grass to munch on. Percy thinks that he's a horse too, so he's gonna try to munch on the grass apparently as well. Off we go on our little walk. I'm excited for your walk, Rocket. He's very excited. Beautiful boy. Percy wants to eat the goats. Oh, Rocket's a mean, mean business. He says, we're going on our walk. Oh, he's going to the grass over here. Never mind. It's this beautiful boy enjoying his num nums. Oh God, he's spooking. He's spooking. We're spooking. Oh, it's a goat. It's a goat, Rocket. You ever seen a goat? It's not, not scary enough to spook at now. Grass is more important. Oh, goat. Scary. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. You know your horse is chill. Come on. Okay, he barely spooked at that, thankfully, but my dog is a menace to society. Stop it. Okay. Me too. Me too, Rocket. Okay, we made it on our walk it with Rocket. We got Percy chilling here now too. My mans. My mans are crazies. Oh, Rocket, he's very upset that we had to leave the grass behind. Well, we gotta walk it, right, Rocket? I just keep rhyming. Okay, can you stop, like, walking in a diagonal line? Like, both of these animals are moving, like, swirly. Anyway, Rocket, let's talk. Do you got any New Year's resolutions? We have the New Year, like, this weekend. What are you, what are you planning to do better for the New Year? My resolutions are to eat more hay and treats and especially carrots. That's a really, really, really important one. So you make sure you get that in your oh. head, okay? Carrots. More carrots. Thank you. Okay, thank you. That's, you know, that's a pretty, pretty good answer, I feel like. I feel like those were some good resolutions to have for a horse. Excuse me, my resolutions are amazing, so... No, you're right. I'm, I'm, they're amazing. They're great resolutions. Yeah. I just feel like they're the same ones that you've had every year. No, am I wrong? Well, don't have to hide behind me. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend. I didn't mean to offend. Okay, we'll keep walking. Your, your resolutions are amazing. Let's go. Can you make a resolution to move with your four legs? You have four of them to use. Four. Okay, Rocket. Rapid fire paparazzi questions. Let's go. What is the state of your uh, your dating right now? Do you have a new boo? Are you thinking about anybody special? He's keeping a secret. Okay. You don't want to quite tell us about it yet. I understand. No, you can't eat the grass. Rocket. Rocket. Oh my gosh. We're gonna give you a little barn tour. This is like the road, like our barn's back there. And this is like the road that we walk down. Ugh, my horse will not move. This is so hard. But yeah, it's really pretty. There's just like a bunch of like different barns. Kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, Heartland maybe? Why are you being a donkey? Come on. One foot in front of the other. Come on, you can make it. Yeah, yeah. Stop eating things. This is like literally so chaotic. Hold up. All right. Rocket's like currently breathing heavily. He sees a tractor. So scary. While we pause, I want to give an honorable mention to my mom for making this lead rope. Look at it in its glory. Hold up. Can we talk about the craftsman craftsmanship? The detail? Hello. Slay. She made it to match my halter, and let me tell you why. Okay, so here's a little story time of why my mom made me a lead rope. 
Um, so basically, you guys, um, dramatic. Anyway, it's like embarrassing. Um, so basically when Rockin went to um, go to his surgery, there was like a little mishap in the morning, which I won't go too much into detail. Which I won't go too much into detail about because it's like a long story. But basically, it ended up in me forgetting to send him with like a different lead rope. Like I sent him with his Lemieux. So, so I sent him with his Lemieux and his Lemieux um, lead rope. We'll pretend that's the lead rope for this part of the story. And so sent him down, he had it, it was fine, all good. There was a mix up basically where um, the guy who was trailering Rocket, he like mixed up all the lead ropes, like he put them all in a pile and then he gave Rocket a different lead rope and then um, some other lady, my lead rope. Yeah, so he um, mixed it up, which is fine. He gave me the contact of the person that he mixed it up with. So 10 out of 10 guy. Um, and the lady was, she's in the same state as me, just in a different part of the state. So I'm like, okay, it should be easy. Like, I'll just ask her to send it back and pay for shipping. And I mean, I'll pay for shipping, you know? Easy remedy, right? Wrong. So she's like, yeah, of course, I'll send it to you, no problem. A month goes by. I'm like, hey, um, are you gonna send it? Cause my birthday's coming up soon. I would really love to have it back for my birthday. She leaves me on red like three times. Um, so I'm like texting her and I'm like, at first, and finally I'm like, do you just not have it? And you're just like not telling me and cause you like lost or something. Like what's going on? I feel a little gaslit here. She's like, no, no, I have it. I'll send it. I'm just busy. Basically like three months go by and like each month I'm like texting her and like, like, I don't know, twice a week or something. And I'm just texting her, asking her for the lead rope back. And I'm like, you just, she's like, how do I send it back to you? And I'm like, you go to the post office. Like telling her, I'm like, girl, don't you worry. I'll like pay for everything, like a package, all that. Just like, all you have to do is bring it to the post office. They'll box it up for you. Send me the receipt. It's all good. She's like, okay, I'll let you know when I can. Never does. So let's see, Rocket, he went for a surgery in August. Um, it is now end of December. So August, September, October, November, December, like five months. <laughs> She's had my lead rope. I don't know. She probably threw it out by now, which sucks. Cause this is like, like they discontinued this Lemieux halter. So I can't get really that lead rope again. Like I tried to find it through like somebody reselling it. Um, but like nobody was reselling it. I guess it was like limited stock or something. So I even asked Lemieux if they would continue it, but they didn't reply sadly. So yeah, my mom was like, felt bad. And she was like, let me, let me just like research on YouTube how to make freaking lead rope. And then this girl just like freaking makes a lead rope. So my mom is just like iconic for that. Rocket, Rocket, what do you think of the person that stole your lead rope? Me too, I feel you. So yeah, I don't know why she stole my lead rope. Maybe she has a pink halter, who knows? Maybe she's enjoying it. Um, but yeah, it's okay because I'm happy with this lead rope. It is beautiful, it matches, and it was made with love. So if you're watching this lady that stole my lead rope, still send it back to me. No I'm kidding, <laughs> but my horse is mad at you. He's furious, see? Furious. Oh. Oh. Romance is in the air. What is this? Who is that? Who is that? No, you can't see it. No, it's forbidden. It's a forbidden romance. Okay. Say bye bye. Say bye, Rocket. Bruh. Look at the little donkeys. It's donkers. Have you ever seen a donkey, bro, Percy? Percy's never seen a donkey. Look at the like mini horses. Like mini little horses. Oh, Percy wants to kill them. Percy wants to eat them. Rocket. Rocket's scared of them. Rocket's scared of them. Rocket. Okay. You know how big you are and how small they are? Why are you scared of donkeys? Yeah, you should be embarrassed. I will donkey shame you. They're so cute. Look at them little piggy donkeys. They think. They're both like, yo, what up? I love them. I love them. Okay, come on, buddy.
Come on, moving. What's up, guys? So, we're gonna be driving home now. Um, I had to stop recording um with rocket because he's being crazy and then i forgot to record after that but rocket was like running me over and stuff so we're gonna drive we're gonna drive the car instead because at least the car isn't actively trying to murder me unlike rocket so um anyway we're just gonna kind of end the video anyway we're just gonna kind of end the video here pretty much um basically rock was just in a mood you know he's a little spicy it did rain and it's been cold so he hasn't been getting out too much um other than his walks you know and the turnouts have been completely mush so hasn't been able to have a run in the turnout which he likes to do um and sadly he hasn't been able to do that because if he did he would slip and fall so Sadly, I, the ice skating life is not for Rocket, and he's just feeling it today. So, very grumpy, um, very spooky, kind of a crazy guy. <laughs> On the way back, like when we we're walking back to the barn, he was like totally like trying to trot in place, and he was running me over, and I had to do the thing where you take the lead rope and you like kind of uh, wheel, what's it called, windmill it around in front of their face so that they kind of spook at it and stay back a little bit more, and that ended up working out. Percy definitely saw his life flash before his eyes a couple of times because Rocket was um, moving around, you know? But it's okay, because I got him out of the way and I was like, Rock Percy, you gotta stay away from Rocket's legs. We listened and then Rocket chilled and calmed down. Um, but anyway, after that very stressful event, I had to get a coffee. I tried a new flavor today, I made it up. I don't know if it's like really making it up or not, but I got toasted vanilla syrup instead of regular vanilla syrup because it gives you kind of that toasty flavor, you know, a little little warmth in it. And then I got one pump of hazelnut syrup too. So probably a very um, sugary coffee, but sometimes, sometimes you need a good, a good cough. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give me a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to ring the bell because then you get notified when I post. Um, I have merch, so go check out my merch links down below. And I know I keep saying we're gonna do video shout outs, but as you can see, I'm not in front of my computer to do them. So the next chance that we are gonna do a video shout out, make sure that you're commenting down below on this video so that I can see your comment and give you a shout out or you can comment on my Instagram, Chase Wave 